Maurizio, first of all, congratulations. How big a win was that tonight? No, I think important for us. It's in three points, but I think it's so important. After the defeat against Borrejando, it was a victory to heal the uh, to heal and to you know to keep believing. I think the performance was good. Uh, the player really fight for the for the victory. It was really tough because Palace was was doing well, but I think uh, on the end with the serve and and the victory, I'm so pleased for the player. I was watching you pitch side. You were, it looked like you were kicking every ball today. That felt like it was a big moment for you. No, yes. Look, uh, I recover my energy here. I think the team needs this energy from the dugout. And I think, yes, I was living uh, with passion the the game. Uh, I trying to help in every single action, the team. And, and of course, uh, supporting because I think it's important to support and, and to help. You had to make changes again before the game. You had Malo Gusto starting on the right. He finished on the left. How important is that versatility from yeah, him? It's, it's really important. I think he was really good today. He was playing really well. Now the challenge is to be consistent in the individual performance and the collective performance. 70 minutes from Kunku, 30 minutes for Lavia as well. It feels like you're, you're getting there step by step. Yeah, a little bit worried about Lavia. I finished with some issues. hope that it's not a big, big issue, but I think... Uh, for Christophe, I think it's important to start to go a little bit more ahead in the minutes. Uh, always important as a player that can help us. I know we've spoken previously about the collective, the age and the experience of this team. It was a, an average age of 23 in your starting 11, but what the performances in games like this do for the collective experience moving forward? No, really important. I think uh, in the only way that we can improve is with time and with games. In, that you can compete in this way, and seem to realize, and then to be, to to, to uh, be focused in the thing that we can improve, in the thing that we are improving, no, and to keep improving. I think it's, it's really important this type of game. I'm so happy, and as we need to use this type of game to try to be consistent. Of course, that we are going to have some down, some up and down, but of course, is this type of game make us realize what we need to, how we need to approach the next game. You mentioned that word consistency. That's now six games at home, unbeaten in all competitions. What does that mean and how important is that going into no, the second half of the season? No, it's really important. I think our challenge is to try to win every single game uh, that we will play here at home in 2024. Uh, that is my mentality, the mentality that I try to translate to, to everyone on the club. And of course, uh, yes, we are going to fight to try to you know, to make happy the people and the fans. The fans uh, today were, were very good again. And to finish the year um, with this victory is always is, is, uh, is good for the future. So, Noni, first of all, congratulations. How big a win, how big a performance was that tonight? Yeah, no, it was a great win, a uh, great collective performance. And, um, yeah, I'm happy, happy for the three points going into the, into the new year. Stamford Bridge was rocking, so, yeah, we appreciate that. For you to step up and score the winning penalty, I mean, how big a moment was that for you personally? Yeah, so it was a, it's a big moment for me. Um, First few months of the season haven't gone as well as I've liked. It's been a bit stop-start, but this is this is what we do it for. Um, those type of moments, and yeah, no, I'm just happy that I could get the team three points in a in a crucial moment. When you were fouled, we saw you take the ball straight away. There was a conversation with Connor. It was always going to be yours, wasn't it? Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, it was. It's always going to be mine. <laughs> I'm confident. Uh, confident from the spot so yeah no I just told him that don't worry I'll, I'll score like you said it has been a challenging season with injuries and everything that you've had to contend with mentally how, how difficult has it been for you I think mentally for for any pro pro footballer it's, it's difficult so it's, it, I think it's part and parcel of the game there's ups there's downs um, but yeah no just waking up every day keep going keep striving so today was a was a great moment and I'll go home very happy Rightly so. Before the penalty, you looked lively when you came on. What were the instructions from the boss when you came off the bench? Obviously, it's 1 1, so just go make stuff happen and um, be defensively reliable. Try to do that. And I thought I did well when I came on. And um, yeah, the, the goal is the icing on the cake. Much has been made of the age and the experience of this group, but what do performances like tonight do for the collective confidence going forward? To be fair, like I've said in, in the previous interviews, like we've had. We've we've performed well this season in terms of playing football. Like we've we've had great games, but it's just maybe been that cutting edge in both boxes that's let us down at times. And um, <clears throat> in the last, call it ten minutes of the game, we showed real desire in our, in our box to defend everyone as everyone together. And um, yeah, no, I'm I'm pleased. I'm super pleased for the for the result. We've seen in the last few games the home form really is improving here at the Bridge. How important is that going into the second half of the season? Yeah, no, we need to. Um, <clears throat> 
we need to make the bridge a, for a fortress for sure. It needs to be a place where other teams don't want to come to. And um, I think, yeah, we haven't <coughs> we've, we haven't lost in six at the bridge. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's good to go into the new year with, um, with that confidence at home. Christopher, first of all, congratulations. How big, big of a win was that tonight? Thank you. It was a, a big fight, a big fight tonight. tonight. Uh, we did a, a good game. I think uh, we can uh, score more goals today, but uh, the most important is uh, to have the free point. And for you to make your first Premier League start, what did that mean to you personally? Personally, it means uh, a lot. Uh, I was very happy. Uh, for me, it was uh, since six months I didn't play, I didn't start a game. So I need to find my, my sensations, for my feeling, to be honest. But uh, I feel good. And uh, the most important is that I'm I'm, and I have uh, no issues after the game, so we, we continue to improve. Like you said, you've had to be so patient over the last six months. How challenging has that been for you? It was very hard, very hard to be honest, to, be honest, to have uh, this injury just at the start of the season. But after, we need to, to, be, to be focused and to, to, work, uh, to work hard to, 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 to come back. And that's, why, uh, that's what I did. And uh, today I'm happy. And uh, I think the, the future will be, will be good. So good to see you involved over the last few games. For you to have come off the bench last week, it was an incredible ovation from the crowd here at Stamford Bridge. What does that mean to you to have such a good reception? Yeah, that's mean a lot for me. This was the first time I uh, hold, uh, hold the stadium, bring my name to, to when I come uh, on the pitch. I want, to, I want to say thank you to, to, to the stadium, to the fans. And uh, yeah, of course, that gave me uh, more more um, more motivation to, to continue to improve and to, to get my, my 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 level and the atmosphere tonight again was was very special how much does it help you as a team we need the, every every game uh, the fun like this uh, i think uh, when they push like this it's uh, they give us uh, something different something special and uh, yeah for sure uh, we have a big stadium big fans and uh, we will do great things and finally, it's such a young team, isn't it, collectively, but experiences like this, how important are they as you move into the second half of the season? I think we need to be, to be focused every, every game, every session, every training uh, to improve. Uh, we have a young team, but uh, big quality, big quality, and uh, we need to work uh, together to improve and to, to success uh, together.